The world's wealthiest countries are finally meeting their climate financing goals. They've hit that annual target of $100 billion U.S. That target was set in a 2009 agreement. The money to go to help developing nations cope with the effects of global climate change. Canada helped get other countries to reach that target. Let's go to Ottawa and Kate McKenna, who is more on the money, just how much has come in and how long it's taken to get to that threshold. Old Kate. Well, Heather, as you mentioned, uh, this target is two years overdue, but the world's wealthiest countries have hit their goal that was set in 2009 uh, to pay $100 billion U.S. annually to some of the poorer countries of the world. Uh, we can see there uh, that uh, in 2022, they managed to hit uh, 115, almost $116 billion U.S. Uh, for the Global South, and that actually is in line with their goal for next year. So now they're a little bit ahead of schedule. And this money uh, is intended to help uh, the Global South or, or the world's poorer countries not only um, lower their emissions, but uh, but also kind of adapt to climate change. And uh, this goal was, was kind of born out of the idea or the understanding that actually it's the world's most developed countries, the world's wealthiest countries that are uh, leading in terms of emissions and global global gas uh, emissions. Uh, and, and so for that reason, they uh, wanted to sort of level the playing field. But as has been noted a good number of times by other world leaders, you know, the wealthier countries were slow on, on hitting this target. Uh, but uh, this was an initiative that was led actually by Canada and by Germany. They were co-chairs of this initiative. And uh, Stephen Gilbo, Canada's environment minister, says uh, they were working regularly with the other countries, uh, asking them to report their numbers putting a little bit of pressure on them to hit their goal. Here's what Environment Minister Stephen Gilbo says. To put all of the world funders around a table and, and tell them, listen, folks, we, we, we got to do this, do this and, and push them and, and do very public reports showing, you know, who's progressing, talking to countries. Hey, you haven't submitted your numbers yet. So I think this, this work that Canada and Germany has, has been doing over the last three years has been instrumental to to get us where we are now. So a little bit of good news that uh, these countries have hit this goal, but it does come with some caveats. Uh, Heather, for instance, we can think of the fact that $100 billion uh, is not really the same in terms of purchasing power as it was when that goal was made in 2009. And the needs are urgent. Uh, in fact, we've heard from uh, the OECD that, that estimates that by uh, 2025, developing countries will need about a trillion uh, dollars U.S. Uh, in order to uh, uh, deal with, invest in uh, climate change adaptation and mitigation. And that figure is expected to increase. So there will be a new goal that will be set at the COP uh, at the climate uh, conference that's set to be held in Azerbaijan uh, this uh, November. Heather. Thank you very much, Kate. Kate McKenna.